step one of mummy makeover. Like, how cool is that? Oh my god, I'm like cringing. It's like, here is the photo we're trying to recreate. Like, don't talk to me, I'm too cool for school. I'm a little bit orange today, but that's okay. This is really giving us. So this was supposed to be like mummy makeover vlog, but like... You feel like two mum? <laughs> It's not even, okay, it is, it's 12.50. I was gonna say it's not even lunchtime. It's very much lunchtime, which is probably why I'm hungry. I've had like four meals today. This is my body trying to function. Kurt and I are just not sleeping. We are still in the trenches of the four month sleep regression. It's rough. I just need sugar today. You guys loved the vlog I uploaded a few videos ago, and it was the mummy makeover vlog. This Box, is... you should do mummy's makeup. No. Yeah. Do you know what? That's a, actually a really good idea. We'll do a video like that, but that video is not today. Okay, bye. See ya. My pet time. Okay, oh, I'm gonna geez. go feed this baby. Put that one down for a nap. Maybe eat some more food and I'll be back. It's a season. Now you're nice and fattened up, full of milk. You, my little friend, you have some explaining to do. Last night, you wanted to feed every two hours. Why is this? Why is this Malachi? I don't know if you can tell, but like, I have a little bit of fake tan on. What is wrong with me? Like, actually, what is wrong with me? Oh. I'm like cringing. I haven't fake tanned in a year. I decided to do a little fake tan, obviously keeping my boobs not tanned because I'm still breastfeeding and I don't want to give you an orange face. For some reason, I just, I thought I was superior and better than using a mitt. If you're around my age, like I think we all went through that phase of like in year 10, rocking up to a party completely orange, like the more orange, the better with streak marks up our arms, streak marks up our legs, like our fingers. We would buff the tan in with our fingers. Hence why mitts exist now. For some reason, I just like thought I was better than that last night and I decided to buff my tan in with my hand. And because it was like a natural tan solution, I was like, it's fine. It's not even gonna really work. It'll just be like a little shade darker. And yes, while that is true, the level of streakiness on my body is just inexcusable. Do you think I should put some blush on? Oh, big yawn, darling. Oh, am I boring you? Okay, look, I'll keep it short and sweet, but let's get into my makeup routine. This is step one of mummy makeover. Okay, should I use a book as a coaster? Is that bad? This is the Lust Minerals Primer. That's it, Mineral Primer. Okay, next up, let us attack these under eye bags because they're not my style and they're not making me very happy and they're making me feel like a weathered mother, which I am, but I don't wanna feel like that. Okay. Every time I use this product, I always say, I don't love it, I need to go and get a new one. I'm just very lazy. I've nearly used the whole thing. It's the Array Perez Arnica Concealer in the color Honey, I usually use a little bit, but today we might go a little bit heavier because mommy needs help. <laughs> we'll also do up here because I think my whole eye socket is just a little black. I'm gonna leave that. The in infamous, wrong word, the famous Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I am the color Fair. This is just kind of like illuminating skin tint. Whoa, I just got it on my white rug. Oh no. I don't have the mental capacity to deal with that right now, so we're just gonna ignore it. Maybe we should buff that in and like see what it looks like. Just a mecha brush. I still have bags, let's keep going. <laughs> let's add more, okay. Also because I have a fake tan, it's this is a little bit too fair for me at the moment. Array Perez in the color Brew, which is usually way too dark for me, and it probably is today, but whatever. We're just having fun with it, okay? <sighs> Do I tell you now or do I save it? I'll tell you now, let's keep buffing. The other day, I was reflecting on my style. I've always loved fashion, right? I didn't know what my style was. I just wanna elevate my outfits a little bit, but like, I don't want someone to look at me in the street and be like, she's a mum. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just, that's not my goal. I'm not going for that mum look. But then, I don't wanna look like I'm trying to be 19 because I don't look 19, okay? Like, sometimes my skin's really good and I could like pass for 24, <laughs> but I'm turning 30 this year. And I don't wanna talk about it. No, I don't really care. 
no, it's fine. I'm turning 30 this year and I'm fine to look 30, but I want to look like a glowy, dewy, vibrant 30 with good style. With all this said, I decided to make a Pinterest board and it's, it's on private because it's a bit embarrassing. Is it embarrassing? I don't know. I made a Pinterest board and it's called Personal Style Development. I'm telling you, it has saved me hours. Kurt's on the board because I said if Kurt wants to add some, he can like my Kanye, you know. So this is my Pinterest board. I love the oversized like matching colors. Like how cool is that? This is why I'm in this because we can recreate this today. I'm a little bit orange today, but that's okay. Usually this brand breaks me up, but this one I'm fine with. It's the Clinique Chubby Stick. I didn't know it was called that. What a cool name. I don't know the color. Hello friends. I was telling them the Pinterest board, the personal style Pinterest board. Oh yeah. Like this, this. Oh yeah, I like that. That's a vibe. Like this. Yeah. What do you think about my personal style mood board? Oh, and I don't you it. think it's a good idea for everyone to have? 100%. Do you have one? Yeah. By the I way, know. I never do this. I want to learn how to do it better, but I... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. The whole inspiration of this personal style development mood board was I was on TikTok. My algorithm has got me down to a T. I am getting given the best videos. I love the algorithm, right? This video came up and it was how to shop for your style. Let's think about it. How many times do we go to the shops? We try stuff on, we come home and we're like, why did I buy that? So she made this TikTok that's like, before you buy anything, before you put anything on, ensure that it fits your three words. You pick three words that reflect your style. For instance, you could be preppy, cute, form-fitting. You could be street, grunge, goth. So yeah, I would say mine would be oversized, neutral, sport. Oversized, neutral, active. Yes, that's mine. What's yours? Form-fitting. No, it's like vomit, burp, and poo. No, but what's, what's your style, honey? Cool, tight, accessible. Warm. 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 We love you. <laughs> okay, moving on, my favorite product. This is a very affordable one, actually. The Mecca Cream Blush in the color Sorbet. You didn't know you got a big line of darkness down the side here. It's oh, very embarrassing. did I not? Oh, that's why I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> On both sides, actually. I'm just trying to have a snatched jaw. It's hard doing makeup in the camera. Do I look better in real life? I think you look good on camera. Just to um, add a little bit more life to my face, I'm just gonna dust this over my face. It's the Hourglass Bronzer. It's a little bit of shimmer. Are you going to um, do this haul? demonstrate haul? With, Outfit. With the tags on. No. <laughs> There's a tag hanging off your bum right now. <laughs> Do you know what the worst part is? I've had this one for a week. Yeah. And I've worn it. Oh no. Out. <laughs> You're like, it's like a proper cardboard tag. <laughs> I worn this out. Did you really? Yeah. Malachi, what's wrong with Why me? Why is your mum so embarrassing? <laughs> Highlighter, it's by Eye of Horus, I think. And it's Solar Quartz. Oh yeah. Dee, who used to do my brows, she moved up to Queensland. This is her brand, Brows by Dee. It's her brow soap. I don't know if I actually use it correctly, but I like the way I use it. <laughs> it might require water, whatever. I just kind of dab my spoolie into it. And you're getting a bit tired and grumpy. This is a very intense mascara. So if you want something that's like really going to like oomph, it's a bit too intense for me because I have very long eyelashes. I just want them to be black. I don't want them to be like too chunky, you know? But this is a good one. The color Ultra Black called Caution by Hourglass. It's a little bit clumpy for my liking. Okay, last but not least, lips. I'm one of those people that I've convinced myself that nothing suits my lips. Here's what I'm doing at the moment. Lip Heroes lip liner in the color Nude for You. I picked this one because it's like the closest shade to my actual lip. Oh, the sun's come out again. Thank you. This has been at like the depths of my handbag. My Smoochie Balm. It's just my natural vitamin E lip balm with Le Bang. So this is the strawberry vanilla scent. And I'm just going to kind of let my natural lip color be the pigment. Okay, that's the face done. All right, let's just slick my hair back a little bit more, make it look a bit more polished. And then we'll get into recreating my Pinterest board outfits and elevating my style. The amount of organization I've put into this section of the vlog, like if you could see behind you, I have shoes here, styling pieces, clothes, like we are ready to recreate these outfits as close to the picture as we can. So pretty much all of the clothes and outfits I'll be showing you are from White Fox Boutique. I do have a code Sarah for 15% off excluding sales. So if you like any of these pieces, then you can get 15% off. We nearly have this one exact. Like here is the photo we're trying to recreate. This is how I'm trying to elevate my loungewear. White Fox is really known for their matching lounge sets at the moment. Like Kurt said, she has like a white t-shirt, but I kind of like tuck it in to my bra. We'll see what that looks like. Now this isn't from White Fox, but you can just kind of use any trench. It's like the juxtaposition of the street hood and the more corporate jacket. Okay, I don't like it like that. I actually think it's cooler out. It needs like a crossbody bag. 
and Sunnies. Let's bring some black. These are actually from White Fox as well. I got a lot of questions on these. <gasps> I love it. Yes, we nailed it. Outfit number one, love it. Let's do the same idea, but like make it more straight. Unpopular opinion, but I'm not really into gray. Like I don't wear a whole lot of gray. I feel like it washes me out, but I really liked the look of this. I, it was at Slate or Steel. I saw it on the website and I thought this is the gray vibe I can get around. See in this photo, this girl has like a track suit on and like loungewear with boots. I love that look. Okay, it needs like an oversized blazer. Something going on here. Maybe I like need to tuck this in or like roll. The fine art of draping baggy clothes. No, I don't like seeing that. I think it has to be like, what about that? Let's put sunnies in a bag and see if we can like put it together. We'll do these sunnies again. This is cool. The only thing is like, I love blazers like this, but I'm like, how do you wear, how do you wear a bag? We'll have to use a bigger bag. It has to be tucked in. I can't have it loose, I just can't. I think Kurt would love this one. And with like a little bit of gold. Gold jewelry just dresses everything up that little bit. This blazer is from White Fox. This is cool. Comment below what your favorite outfit is. Okay, I'm getting in my next outfit. Do you guys hate this together? Like, is it giving ugly dad vibes or like, we'll do sunnies. Sunnies make everything cool, right? Is that cool or ugly? I can't tell. You know, there's like cool dad and then there's like grubby dad. Let me put the actual outfit on. I actually love this one. Usually I tuck my tops into like my pants like this and like flop it over. But I feel like because it's the same color and it's very oversized, I'm going to tuck it in to my bra. Just like that tiny bit of skin. Okay, what shoes? What shoes? What shoes? I think the converse. I think the white matches with the white stitching. Also, I'm a size small in everything. Do we want the cream? Let's do the cream. Is that too much? It's too big. That's better. This is giving boy mum vibes. Even better, it's breastfeeding friendly. So I could just, anything with buttons. That's kind of like all I'm wearing at the moment, especially like when I'm out and about with the boys. If you don't like oversized clothes, you're kind of not gonna like my style because basically everything I wear is oversized. Actually, no, coming up is more of a feminine side of me, I guess, because I'm gonna wear some corsets, which sounds sexual, but it's cool and fashionable. I don't know whether I got the wrong size in these jeans because I'm like in between sizes. Small is my jam at the moment because extra small it's like if I have a big meal it's kind of like I can't breathe I don't know if these are like a little too big I've been waiting to get these jeans I swear they keep selling out they look really weird but when they get put on they fit better now <laughs> this morning I tried them on and they were like really baggy but as I said I've had like literally five meals today because my body is just like craving food so I stay awake they fit great now aren't they cool they're like the mum jean but elevated it's our word of the day elevated very outside my comfort zone but I think I love it. Let's do the oversized blazer. I don't like this oversized blazer on me, like with my arms through it. Like I don't like it like this. It's like too oversized and boxy. Impractical, but like fashion's not supposed to be practical, okay? Where are the sunnies? Where are our favorites? Really, I've just been obsessed with these ones. I'll put the name of them up here, these ones. They're so cool, they're such good shape. I love this one. Maybe I'll wear this today. So this one's cool, but I could only wear it for like three hours max. It's not breastfeeding friendly, but it's a vibe. Is this saying boy mum or is this saying like 24 single Pringle entrepreneur, 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 business gal? Here we go. Like, hi, I'm a mum. Busy, busy, busy. I have nappies in here. I've got some nappy cream, Malachi's beanie. Like, I'm a busy mum. Or like, hi, like, don't talk to me. I'm too cool for school. <laughs> I love this outfit. Yes, yes. I'm like automatically making it not cool by doing this, but I love this one. This bra is ruining my moment. It's ruining this shirt, but like, do I run downstairs and get a new bra? Can you tell it has like this boob sculpting detail and ribbing. That's kind of cool. I don't think my, any of my bags would go with it. I only brought my black bags up. Actually, with black, black sunnies, I brought all different black sunglasses up. Like, look, I'll mix it up. I'll mix it up for this look, but we'll do these. That's cool. This is very casual, right? I don't know, is this your favorite? Tell me, let me know. Love the color, love the fit. I probably need a belt if I'm gonna wear it like tight. I don't want it to wreck my hair. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I think we'll tuck this one into the bra. Cool, I think I just love these jeans. Like honestly, these jeans are just a win. I like the back of this with the green. This could be a fail, but I wonder what the boots would look like. I don't know, we could hate this. Is that weird? Is that weird? I don't think I love it enough. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm trying not to do a lame pose, but this is cool. I need some more adjectives apart from cool. Like this is 
sick. <laughs> no, really, stop, Sarah. Just stop. Leather flares. I love a good flare moment. I feel like they're very flattering. What do we think? Do we like this one? This is more like an event. <gasps> Wait, let's just put these on over the top. I want to make this outfit here. Now, I don't have a white bag. I really only have black bags. I don't know if this is going to work. This is a white fox like activewear crop. This is a size small as well. It's very small. So if you're in between sizes, grow larger. Go all the way up. Should we put my necklace out? Okay. How cropped is hers? Hers is like smaller. That looks better. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, we'll do the cat eyes with this. Tell me this isn't the three words. This is oversized, sport. What was my other word? Oversized, sport, neutral. Let's do mum bag. No, I don't like the mum bag. Let's just hold it. That's better. That's better. We like this one. This is giving this. This is really giving this. One more, one more, one more. Should we like keep this on underneath? I feel like a lot of my Pinterest photos have like that turtleneck look. While this is on, I wonder what it would look like. Let's get rid of the necklace. I just don't think I suit it. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Like I love it on my Pinterest board and that's the thing, like your Pinterest board can look good on Pinterest and not necessarily do you justice. I feel like that's this look for me. I don't like this. Should we do black? Yes. I love a good cap. My hair is either in a slick, slick, slick crazy bun or I'm in a cap. There's really no in between. I like it low, like that's the whole Pinterest look. You know, I really like when the caps are low, not like this is giving mum. This is giving cool. But then I can't put my sunglasses on because it like, it's one or the other. Like, okay, to me, this is looking cool in the mirror and like, maybe it needs that. This is cool. This is very much what I would wear like on a walk with the pram, grocery shopping. We did really well, guys. Especially that first one, like that, that nailed the brief. I picked some good pieces. I was very meticulous in selecting this haul because I really wanted it to reflect my new, it's not even my new style. Like really, this is pretty classic, says. But if you honestly take anything from today's video, it's like make your own style mood board because it just makes life so much easier. But again, if you guys want to get any of these pieces, my code is Sarah for 15% off. And I feel like I showed you guys some really cool items that would suit a lot of different body types. Okay, I'm gonna go to my meeting, talk to you soon. It's a few days later and I have some pros and cons right now. If you can hear that, next door is renovating and they start renovating at like seven on the dot and I didn't sleep last night very well. So I wanted to sleep in, that is the con. But the pro, I'm sleeping with the boys again and we have to get up for swimming lessons. Yeah, they're literally ripping the house down today, like demolishing it, and it's loud. It's okay, I can wake him up. I need to feed him anyway. Where are you going? Hi. I didn't have a bad dream. I had a Gucci. What was your dream about? He worked out. You were doing a workout? No, from your workout. Oh, I was doing a workout. That's not my dream. Swimming lesson starts in two minutes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Don't oh, worry, wait. we'll bring you along. I'll film on my phone, okay? Smell. Oh, you do. No, 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 we love you. Bye, you guys are gonna be like. Okay, okay, okay. So this was supposed to be like mummy makeover vlog, but like, <laughs> just maybe we should like go do my skincare. Malachi usually wakes up at seven, but we had such a bad night last night. Like I fed him every like two and a half hours. Like he's still in his sleep regression, which has just been a long time. So I'm just struggling. And like, I've been crying at like the 3 a.m. feed because I'm just so tired. He's still asleep. Well, maybe the mummy makeover vlog is still going strong.
usually he's like down for his nap, but whatever, like never wake a sleeping baby. Usually Monday morning, we're like up early, the routine is happening, but we had a really hectic weekend, like a really fun weekend. We just kind of, yeah, went on like a little road trip and hung out as the four of us. And it was super spontaneous. I just feel a little bit unorganized this morning, which isn't ideal for Monday. Then usually I have to jump into a 9.30 meeting with my team and set them up for the week. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna boycott the meeting this morning and I'll call my team later. I'm gonna tidy my house, put on some laundry, drink my body bloom. Oh my gosh, by the way, I'm pretty sure in the next vlog I get to explain this, but this has been in the works for so long now. Myself and Trapika are organizing the biggest giveaway I've ever done. It is, I'm gonna keep it a secret because it's really exciting. The prize is worth a lot of money. It's an experience, like you'll remember it forever. And to go in the draw, you just have to be subscribed to Body Bloom and subscribed to Sunny, my healthy cooking app. So yeah, in the next vlog, I get to share what that is, but we're in the final stages of planning that giveaway. And I have to have a meeting today about like what content I'm gonna make to tell you guys like what the giveaway is. Anyway, this is so weird. Like it's 20 to nine. This is not normal. Like. I feel childless. Actually, you know what I should do? I'm gonna plan out the day. Monday, okay. How do you do this for coffee in your hand? Yeah, it's a bit sunny for me too. Run, run, run. <laughs> That's it, go buddy, go. You gonna do a torpedo? You gonna do a torpedo next? Nice, mate. Nice work, man. You a bit cold? <laughs> Can I take a video of your goggle eyes? What are you gonna order, mate? Two marshmallows and what, a baby Chino? What, what milk are you gonna get it on? Oat milk. Oat milk, you sure? <laughs> Baby Chino on oat milk. Baby Chino on oat milk. What's wrong? The builder's happy in his ear. Is he unhappy, is he? Yeah. Can you go make him happy? You're very clever. They're pulling down the roof. Next door, is that cool? What's wrong, mate? Smoke eye. He's hurting his ear. Why is he hurting his ear? The from the builders. The builders next door. Malachi, your ear's hurting? Are you okay, mate? Hello. You all right? <sighs> Come here, bud. What's going on, Fox? Outside is the builders up. Oh, you told them. Oh, I'll tell them. Well, the how? It's so loud. Fox, this is going to be our life like the next six months, I reckon. Why did on this note? Yes, well I'm planning the content for the giveaway stuff we're doing So we have some really fun videos planned that I'm yeah, gonna hopefully one. film tomorrow I love that. You can draw the face there if you want I just fed Malachi so Kurt is putting him to sleep So I have like a few hours to smash some work out and then I'm in mum mode So <clears throat> I honestly haven't had many work days like Kurt's really been like working full-time and I've just been <laughs> I don't even know. Basically being a mum full time, but then like trying to work at the same time. And it's just like not really working because I'm burning myself out. So I'm just trying to separate it a little bit. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very random, very all over the place, but that is such a good reflection of my life right now. You want to say yeah. bye guys? Bye. Bye. Okay. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. And hopefully I don't look so. Our favorite word disheveled.